Hi. So I thought I'd make a quick demonstration about how to calibrate the servos for our little robotic button masher thing. So what we're using here are these little SG90 um, very lightweight servos. Um, they're made by Tower Pro or several other brands. They're all pretty much the same and have pretty much the same dimensions. And we have to use one like this because um, our frames are designed, I'll show you the frame here real quick, so that those will just basically snap right into there. And so this is one of the frames that we're using. Uh, sorry, I'm trying to do this without moving my camera too much right now. Um, so what happens is the servo just snaps right into that little slot there. And I'll demonstrate it in a little bit after we get it calibrated. And that's what mashes the button on our phones. So, in order for that to work properly, uh, what you need to do is calibrate the servo so, so that the off position means the same thing and the on position means the same thing for every single servo. So the way we do that, I've got the Raspberry Pi here hooked up uh, with the software already running on it, just like we're going to run in the lab. And uh, this is a little PWM controller hat. I've only soldered on a few of the, um, the pins on this one because that's all I need for right now. And the other thing that I've done is I've taken one of these servo extensions because I was calibrating a whole lot of these earlier and it just made it far more convenient to just plug it into one of these little extenders rather than having to plug it directly into the pins every time. And you'll notice also, if you can kind of see, um, these have three wires on them. That black one, it's usually either black or dark brown, is going to be your ground wire. And that's the one that's going to be closest to the edge here. Um, it's also labeled with a G if you, if you look there on the board. So, the way we do this is, I've already got the horn on this one, but we can go ahead and take it off um, so that we can kind of demonstrate how this works. You take your servo and make sure you line up the colors um, correctly. The, uh, the brown or black goes on the same side as on the extension. And you plug it in. And you might hear it kind of move around a little bit. Um, that's going to go to the default position, which um, uh, if you've just started it up, it's going to be off. Um, otherwise, uh, there's also a calibrate and an on position. So let's make sure it's in calibrate. All right, we heard it move there, so it's in the calibrate position. And then what we're going to do is take our little servo horn here. I use this one because we don't need anything on both sides. We just need one like that. And we're going to try to put it so that it's basically sticking straight down. And that's pretty close to straight down. If you can't get it exactly straight down, you may want to go just a little bit to the right, to this direction of center, because um, uh, if it's too far to the left, it's going to bind a whole lot, and it could actually kind of like push the phone out of the frame and stuff like that, and you wind up not really hitting the buttons right. Of course, if you get too far to the right, then it's not going to push the button at all. So when you're in calibrate mode, you want it to basically be pointing straight down like that. And that's pretty much all there is to it. If we want to test it, then what we can do is we can go back to our, um, uh, to our terminal and send a command to turn it off. And you'll notice it moved over a little bit. It's basically moving out of the way of the, uh, the thing that it's trying to push. And back it up a little bit so it's not so blurry. We can also uh, turn it on. So that's the position it would be in when it's actually pushing the button. So let's demonstrate real quick what it would be like when it's actually pressing the buttons on the phone. So here's one of the MX4 devices in one of the frames and I've got the servo hooked up. Um, it just slots right in um, to that little uh, area there and it just kind of holds tight with friction. You could put a screw in it if you really need to but so far we haven't had to do that with any of them. And to turn it on you're basically just going to issue the curl command um, or use the, uh, the API through a script or something to uh, change the state of that button to on. Right now it's in the off position 
you can see it's backed away from the button. But if we turn it on, basically I just turned it on and then right back off. Then you can see the screen came on. And I can do the same thing again. And turn it off, on and off again, and it basically just presses the button and turns it back off. One final thing that I'll recommend is on these servos, you'll notice there's a little hole right there, straight through the middle of the servo horn. And the thing that's for is for putting a screw in there to kind of hold it in place. This is one that I've actually put a screw in already. Um, it's not a really big deal. I haven't had any trouble with them falling out even if I don't have the screw in there. Um, but it would be kind of a, a problem if it did and it would probably take a, a little bit of tracking down to figure out what happened. Somebody would have to actually go and look at it. So you just take the little screw that came with it. It'll be the smallest screw that it came with and screw it right in there to that center hole. Now one other thing to be careful of is um, after you screw it in, it's very likely that you'll kind of move that horn around a little bit. That's okay. Um, what you can do is just put it in the off position on your Raspberry Pi and, um, and then just plug that servo back in while it's in the off position for that pin and that will return it to kind of about right there so that that way when you, when you go to plug it into um, your frame, it's kind of out of the way of the button and it's not going to be binding up against it and already pushing something. And that's it.